Kitty Gang, man. Let me show you my hot Italian brand name. Oh, that's 69. Food life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys enjoyed this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. Be a part of the notification. Dang. All right. Here it is. My hot take on a hot Italian sandwich. So I had hot town sandwich across the city. I kind of have a visual eyes of what it really tastes like. I think the best ever hot town sandwich I ever had was, I ain't gonna lie, firehouse. This is what I've seen at the firehouse. We're gonna copycat their recipe. So they steamed everything. So we got mortadella right here. We're just gonna stack it right on top of our parchment paper. In the back there, we have uh, a steamer going on right now and we got our oven on because we're gonna bake this as well ladies and gentlemen so we're pretty much practically layering our meat on this parchment paper mortadella lots of mortadella I'm not sure what this is but it's either sweet capricole or let me look at it prosciutto cotto I think it's prosciutto cotto it looks like prosciutto I think this is sweet capricole I'm not sure why it's called sweet but it looks good <laughs> <laughs> Stack it, okay? Can't call it hot Italian if you don't have some hot Calabrese. Nice layer. I think the worst part of all of this, if you don't buy the right product, it's gonna be very salty. This, I tried it, it was all Costco stuff. Not too salty, just right, okay? Two layers of that. We got some hot capacole. Right on. Okay, next time you come to get an Italian sandwich, come to Kwan's house. Okay, I got you. I stack it up for you, right? Yes. We have some pepper salami. Let's stack it up. Right onto this, fresh mozzarella. Here we go. Our beautiful steamer right here. And let's steam. Next on this, can you believe this? 97 cents. You know what? I was wrong. You know why? I went to the store today, seen a big circle sign, and it said always, like very big circle sign. It said always 97 cents. They got me. Here we go. This is our toasted man made. Look how beautiful it is. Man, it's been a while since I said that, right? So a lot of you guys are asking, Juan, what happened to your man made shop? Is it happening? Guys. I've, I've, I've talked about this, all right? <laughs> Sorry guys, it's a little hot, but uh, right now, main focus right now, baby dragon, okay? That's it, it will happen. Just wait on it, all right? If you guys can't wait, then I have to secretly open and make the best bun me ever and not even broadcast it, all right? Can I open my bun me for you? Oh man, it's been a while, right? Beautiful, okay? Next, we got some Avjar, okay? A lot of countries said that uh, they make Avjar, like Italy, Serbia. I'm not doubting you guys that you guys don't make Avjar. I'm just saying. I looked in the back of this one and it said it's from Turkey. So this Turkey Avjar, okay? At the time I was just like, hey, is this Avjar when I was eating Italian sandwich? And it was just like, it's ours. I didn't say it was whose. Everybody just claimed it was theirs. So I was just eating it, okay? No hate. <laughs> Let's make it nice and spicy. We got peppercino right here. Just ever so bit. Try to get that one right here. Look at that. Nice and steamy. Perfect. Pearl one cheese. Melted ever so slightly. I'm gonna punch this top in. I don't know why sometimes people just kind of just dig it out. Just punch it in. Lettuce. Here I have some olive oil and balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper as well. Right on. Tomato slices. A 
ออกไปครับเมกะตัวแรกคัดไรดาวน์ในมิดเดิลคิดยังไง Let me show you my hot Italian bunny order 69 Alright nothing to it but just reviewing the hot Italian sandwich from Quan Italians Look at this Quan Italians legit Holy hey, Holy Let's cut this in half. Let's get the back end. Because I know the back end is going to be very good. So, let's go. Bite on this. Quick tie. You guys got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mmm. The best hot Italian I have ever eaten, and the best hot Italian I have ever made. Definitely a great choice. Great decision to steam in your meat. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Firehouse, I definitely wouldn't ever thought of it. And that's the truth. Okay. Let's get a little high. High I mean going up, I mean. I gotta get high. A little low. What can I say about the sandwich? All of the good components that you're looking for. Spicy, creamy, meaty. Cooling of the vegetable. But has a little tang and zip, but buttery. Or oily because of the balsamic vinegar and oil. The abdrop gives it a nice roasted red pepper taste. The mozzarella is just settling. It helps with the the saltiness. It's not salty, but it just helps with the saltiness and just kind of just blends out the salt. That's I, that's why I feel like fresh mozzarella is not salty because it has like to match it with some salty things. So the mozzarella will try, kind of just balance everything out when uh, eating. Mm. Crispy, crunchy, but mm -hmm. mm. and may I point out. The process of just steaming your meat really does make it blend well. I also feel like uh, it's a must now. Mm -hmm. I don't like cold cutlery or cold cutlery, cold, cold cuts, cuts. <gasps> you know what I'm saying. I like a warm. Mm. But 
to be honest, I really do feel like this is not the real Italian sandwich. It's Americanized. Where the Italians at? Any Italians in the house tonight? From Italy. The reason why I say this, every time online I go on TikTok, you know that man. He's kind of bred up. He's an Italian man, kind of bred up. He's putting uh, ricotto, prosciutto, pretty much just all types of ham in it. No sauce, no after, no nothing, no oils, no nothing. He's just putting the meat on, the coconut on, fresh cheese. He's just cutting his fresh cheese on, slap it on, slap it on fresh bread, and that's it. And that's your Italian, that's your hot Italian. You want hot Italian? You put hot cup of cola, hot salami on, and that's it. And cheese, slap it on. There's no vinegar, there's no, um, what is this, lettuce, tomatoes, there's none of that. It's just fresh bread, fresh cut deli meat, fresh cheese, both. No? I tried that one before. Mm. And I made sure everything was fresh right now. I thought it was the, the driest of dried sandwiches in my mind. But when I had it, totally it was good. <laughs> this is like the most simplest, most delicious sandwich I ever had. When I made it, three ingredients fresh bread, fresh cut, um, cold cut, and fresh cheese. Mm -hmm. The Italian people are treat me. Mm -hmm. Just because why are they ranked the first, number one, best food in the world? Always, every year they win it. <coughs> my thought and my conclusion of why they always win is because they're simple people. When I say simple people, I mean they're simple. Fresh ingredients, no here, no there, just fresh ingredients. Slap it on, you're ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you guys want some, just knock on my door. I got you, all right? Okay, here we go. Next thing. Cut this at Costco. It's an Italian theme. Come on. Hermoso in a cup. I had this before, back in the day. But it seems like it got so popular that they upgraded their cups. Look at their cups, Hermoso. Man. Back in the day, at Hermoso, I thought it tastes like trash. Why? Because I had trash tiramisu. This decadent. So on top cocoa. The cocoa, yeah, it's cocoa. I thought it was uh, coffee, but there's cocoa. There's mascarpone. I think there's liquor in there. I swear. My wife ate this back in the day, and she said she felt a little like queasy. I think because there's liquor in it, and there's coffee. I think. Let's go. And there's cake or lady fingers. Let's go bite on this. Um, caramel soup. It's got a nice soup on this. Mm. Not a paper motion or anything. I like to go to Italy, but they didn't try it. 
I tell you. If you guys never had this tiramisu from Kalsai before, mm. rich and creamy. Rich and creamy. It does have like a uh, aftertaste of, I think it is liquor, because I do have like a liquor set in my mouth. The raw cocoa on top gives a nice bitterness to it, but the mascarpone, creamy, perfect amount of sweetness, not too sweet. It just pairs well with everything or every layer that is in this little cup here. This little cup has been upgraded. It's thicker and I like it. Back in the day it was thin. But that was like back, back in the day when it first came out. And I want to say, still a very, very delicious, high quality caramel soup in my opinion. Holy.